ちゃんさんなんかに行きますとね、一貫で何千円。<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin, and today is day two here in Tokyo. If you didn't check out the previous episode, make sure to hit the link down in the description box. We showed you what Tokyo nightlife is all about. So, being a red light district, our next izakaya is right next to a sex shop, and there is many of these in this area. <laughs> Tonight we have a special episode planned for you. We are going to one restaurant, and only one restaurant. It's called Maguro Shoten, and they're famous for their tuna demolition show. So we're here in Shinjuku, extremely busy Friday night. We're going to the restaurant, going to be eating a ton of tuna dishes. They're going to be cutting up the full tuna. I am super excited. A special thank you. To Japan Wonder Travel for helping us reserve our seats at this restaurant. If you need to reserve seats here in Tokyo or in Japan, make sure to check out the link for Japan Wonder Travel down in the description box. So we are super, super hungry. The restaurant is just behind me here, so let's go in. Now it's called Magaro Shoten. We are going down into the basement. We are below one of the main streets of Kabuchiko, which is the red light district of Tokyo, and we are here. Let's go in. We are in the basement under the busy streets of Shinjuku, and behind me here you can see the bar counter. And in just about 15 minutes or so, they're going to start the tuna demolition show, which basically means the tuna cutting. So we're going to get front row center, get some cool shots of them cutting the tuna up. This restaurant does this every single day of the week. I'm going to put some information for it down in the description box, so the next time you visit、uh, Tokyo, you can come to Shinjuku and check this place out. I'm guessing the food's going to be really good, but for For、uh, an appetizer, we've got a lemon sochu, lemon sour. So you can see it's almost got like a sorbet, like lemon ice. I'm gonna mix it all in here. This is made with、uh, shochu, which is a popular Japanese liquor. Let's try it out.、Mm. Oh, nice and sour. Completely masks the flavor of the alcohol. Really refreshing. I'm sure this thing is strong, but you can drink it very easily.、Mm. So, we're going to order food, but first we're going to wait to watch the demolition show. ね、中に、くぼみがありまして、そのくぼみの中にちゃんと収まるようにできています。え、これは大きなマグロ、くぼみのところを最前列のお客様ちょっと見えやすいですね。確か2階席もございましてね。2階席にもね、ちょっとお
お客様でこれ感動して手が止まってますけどね<笑>さあでは参りますよじゃんけんぽんで参りますはいじゃんけんぽん We just finished watching the tuna demolition show. That was a lot of fun. Maybe 10 minutes or so. And they actually had an English translator. So it was mainly in Japanese, but then there was also a translation. It was really cool. So they disassembled the full tuna. It's a huge tuna. I don't know exactly how much it weighs. Bluefin tuna. They、uh, first started by cutting off the head. And then breaking it down into the different pieces. So, as you may or may not know if you're familiar with Japanese sushi, there is the different、uh, cuts of tuna. So, it goes from lean to fatty, the akami to the otoro. So, the otoro is the belly, the akami is the back. He breaks it all into the different pieces. He even、um, took a little bit of the collagen from inside the spinal、uh, cord. And served it in a spoon to one of the customers. And at the very end of the show, we all played rock, paper, scissors to、uh, kind of gamble for the two bowls of tuna, which were scraped from the rib cage of the tuna. It all sounds a little bit barbaric, I will say, but it looks absolutely delicious. Unfortunately, we lost the rock, paper, scissors, so we're going to have to resort to ordering our own tuna, but that's okay, so let's order some now. So, they actually have a very convenient way of ordering. They've got this iPad sort of thing here, and if you go up in the top corner here, you can pick the languages English,、uh, looks like Chinese, and Japanese. So, we are going for the English, and we're definitely going for this the basket tuna. Which is just the tuna sashimi、uh, for two to three people. So, I'm going to add one of those to our order. And just for now, we will start with this. So, let's place our order. And our sashimi, tuna sashimi, is coming. Oh man. Actually, one of the things we wanted to order is already sold out. So, I think it's best that we order it all at once and then we can just、uh, have it all at the table and eat. So, the other thing we want is this here. It's called Grilled rare sight. I don't really know exactly what that's supposed to mean, but、uh, this I read online is、uh, three different cuts of tuna and you grill it yourself. So I'm going to order one of those. And then also, we wanted to order、uh, where is it? Recommended、uh, this skin meat. So、uh, we actually wanted to order the rib meat, which you scrape, but this looks pretty good. I'm not exactly sure. And actually, it's pretty cheap, only eight,、uh, $8.10. So e we'll order those two, place our order, and that should be a sufficient amount of tuna for two people. That's a lot of raw tuna, but I am totally ready. We haven't eaten any tuna, raw tuna yet here in Japan, so it's definitely the time and the place to try it. Our Megoro Mountain has arrived. Megoro means tuna in Japanese, and just check this out. It is an actual mountain of tuna, all raw, and this is straight from that tuna that we just watched get demolished. So it's been served with、um, some wasabi, which we're actually supposed to grate ourselves, and then it looks like a little bit of pink salt. So I'll take this wasabi, kind of like this, grind it up ourselves. Some real high quality wasabi. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is gonna be so, so good. I have been waiting a long time for this. Grab my chopsticks here and let me grab a piece of tuna right off the top. I wanna go for a nice piece. Okay, let's go for this one. Oh man, look at that. So I will take this. Oh, it's connected. Put it in my plate. Take a little wasabi here. Put it on top. And then just a little bit of salt, which is kind of unique. I usually don't think that you eat raw tuna with salt, but let's try. Cheers. Unreal. So, so tender. Melt in your mouth is such an understatement. I haven't eaten tuna sashimi in too long. I forgot how much I love it. Completely melts in your mouth. That wasabi is not so spicy, but more so flavorful. But really, the flavor and the oiliness of that tuna is so rich. It's just mind blowingly delicious. I know Sabrina is probably getting upset behind the camera here because she wants to eat some, but I gotta go for one more piece. <laughs> A little bit of salt.
Our second dish is the three different cuts of tuna. So first we have the cheek meat. Second we have fatty tuna or otoro, which is the fattiest and the most expensive cut of the tuna. And then this is the medium fatty tuna, setoro. So I think I'm gonna go for the cheek and this is not to be eaten as sashimi. Actually we have a very hot plate over here. So there's a flame burning beneath this and this is meant to be seared, so. Oh yeah. And I don't want to cook that too long. Just a quick sear. One side. A little bit longer. Flip it. Oh yeah, look at that. And the other side. I might let that, since this is the cheek, I might let it go a little bit longer. It feels a little bit tougher than maybe the otoro or setoro. So I'll grill this a little longer on the side. And that should be good. So let's go for a sauce dip. We have two different sauces. It looks like this one's maybe like a spicy bean sauce and maybe a black pepper. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna go for this one with the green onions. Dip my grilled tuna cheek in there. And let's try that. Oh, that smells fantastic. Oh my God, that's good. You can taste that slight smokiness. That sauce is a little bit sweet. I think there's a little bit of ginger in there and you can taste the green onions as well, some black pepper. But man, that tuna cheek is more tender than I thought. That is phenomenal with the grill. I love that, frying it right on top. I am given the honor of trying the Otoro tuna, which is the fattiest part of the entire tuna. So excited. Just look at how marbled this is. It is beautiful and it's almost falling apart. It's so oily. So let's throw it on the grill. I am not gonna cook it for very long. This requires almost no cooking. So just a quick sear. Flip that over. Oh, it's so slippery. Oh my God, look at how beautiful that is. I am so excited. Just without sauce, it doesn't need any sauce. This is just perfect the way it is. Oh my goodness. It just melts in your mouth. It is beautiful. The taste is so good. We have demolished the tuna mountain and it doesn't matter. It was so good. I could eat another one, honestly. The last piece of our uh, grilled tuna here is the setoro, the medium, medium fatty. Lay that right on there. Give it a second. Guys, I am absolutely in love with tuna. And if you are a tuna lover, this is your place here in Tokyo. Nagoro Shoten here in Shinjuku. Really fun, like a lot of uh, excitement from the uh, show. And then the food delivers as well. Let me flip this before I grill it too, too long. Oh yeah. So if you are a tuna lover, I can't recommend anywhere more than Maguro Shoten. I am absolutely blown away by how delicious the food is here. So I'm gonna try this other sauce here, kind of red looking. I'd imagine it's like a bean, spicy bean sauce. Mm. Mm. Man, the texture is just out of this world delicious. Actually, that sauce is phenomenal as well. And the texture of that tuna, I can't put into words. It's beyond tender. It's not like steak or beef tender. It's much more than that. You have to come here to Japan to try it. Personally, I am a Sapporo beer kind of guy, but acai is also really good. But this acai, the acai uh, dry black, phenomenal. God, I've been saying that all night. This acai black, the dry black is awesome too. So they give you a small glass. Uh, it goes perfect with some raw tuna. So let's move on to our next dish. We have the tuna on the skin. So if I flip this up, you can see, oh, I don't wanna peel it off yet, but you can see that tuna skin, very hard tuna skin. And this should just peel right off. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's a little bit tougher than I imagined. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you can kind of peel it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can kind of peel off a little bit. Here, let me get a, let me get a little bit more. 
I don't want to wreck it too much. Oh, it's a little bit harder than I had imagined. Okay, there we go. So it's sort of like, almost like a minced tuna. And then it's served with a little bit of wasabi. I'm probably not eating this correctly at all, but that's okay. And some green onions. Oh, that's nice. It's lighter in flavor and more lean in texture. You can taste the creaminess and the oiliness, but it's not like that Otoro. It doesn't completely melt, melt in your mouth. There's still a little bit of lean uh, bite to it. And it goes nicely with the green onions and the wasabi, of course. Chase it down, a little bit of beer. Oh yeah, even though this beer is dark, it doesn't feel like a, a heavy or a dark beer. Really good. So I'm getting the hang of this now, and I'm kind of cleaning it up so we can just pick it up and eat. It's coming off the skin. Uh, it's a little tough on the skin, but very, very delicious tuna. And look at all that, oh my gosh. This is only uh, about $8 US for this dish, or I think it was 810 yen. So, and look at all that, man, that is crazy. So that's kind of like, it's kind of like the negi toro, the minced tuna, incredible. Look at all that, wow, that is, Crazy. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That's what it's about. The food here is blowing our minds. If you've ever eaten raw fish, there's a certain euphoria about it. Of course the alcohol uh, plays a big part in that as well. And I'd just like to mention that the iPad is probably the most dangerous thing you could ever encounter at a restaurant. It's so easy to order. They have everything there for drinks. You could just click and then order. So we're already uh, racking up a decent little bill here. About uh, 95 US dollars. So the food is good. Drinks are good. No complaints. But uh, it's definitely easy to order or over order, I should say. Ninety-five dollars. <laughs> oh my God. Mighty Moses. Oh, I didn't realize it was that much. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> we are having a blast. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I think I said. More drinks. This is getting absurd. We need to chill out, Sabrina. Our next dish has arrived. This is probably our last thing we will order. We're getting quite full. This is the grilled tuna edge. You can see a piece of skin on the outside here. And uh, this is served with lemon. Let me squeeze a little bit on top. Grilled to perfection. And then some daikon radish, grated daikon radish. So let's break a piece off. Oh yeah, look at that. This is a thick cut of tuna, wow. Grab a little bit of daikon radish, and let's try that. Wow, look at that, oh my god. That is a huge chunk of tuna. A little bit of daikon radish. Bone. Mm. Uh oh. Oh no, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> it looked tasty, but it looked difficult. Oh. oh man, still very soft, but you can taste now that smokiness from it being grilled. That is a thick cut of tuna. There's a lot of meat there. And then that kind of watery daikon radish, refreshing, sour from that lemon. It's got all the different flavors and textures you want. Look at that. Grilled to perfection. Oh man, that is so good. Oh yeah. Perfect way to end the meal. What an incredible experience here at Magoro Shoten. It's right in the heart of Shinjuku, which is a little bit touristy, but I have to say that, uh, in my opinion, the food is straight up Japanese, authentic dining. Really delicious. You can order the same dishes as us. There's a couple other dishes available. It's a lot of fun. You can come at 7.30 for the tuna demolition show 
That was incredible, watching them disassemble that whole tuna, playing rock, paper, scissors. I really wish we did win, but uh, maybe we'll have to come back again and try again. But food, A+, plus. absolutely delicious. The information for it will be down in the description box so you can find it yourself. If you need to make a reservation, you can check out Japan Wonder Travel's website for a reservation service. Unless you speak Japanese, then you're uh, good on your own. So let's go inside and we'll finish up the video. All right, guys, that's it for tonight's episode. What an incredible experience at Magaro Shoten. The tuna demolition show, so fun, and the food, absolutely delicious. We are ending our night here in Shinjuku. Extremely busy Friday night. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know down below what you thought looked the most delicious. I'd have to say that that uh, grilled tuna was my absolute favorite. So delicious. So we'll see you on another episode of Chop Sex Travel soon. Make sure to hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post another video. And if you haven't already, subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you again very soon from Tokyo. We have a lot more videos coming soon. Bye-bye.